up your Bible before you take your seat. Pick up your Bible wherever you are and open with me to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah in chapter 51. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 51 as we bring this men's conference to its conclusion today by the grace of God. Jeremiah chapter 51, I'm going to begin my reading from verse 20. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse number 20. If you don't have a Bible, please move close to somebody who has one. And let's all look into the Holy Writ this morning. If you have it, can you say amen? amen. I'm going to begin my reading from verse 20, and I'll read all the way to verse 24. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. It says, And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces the man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in, the, in, in your sight, say the Lord. Can someone say amen? amen? Ye are my battle axes, saith the Lord. This morning I'm looking at the subject, the man God uses. The man God uses uses we have seen the excellent man we have seen the ancient man we have seen the worthy man but today we want to see the man god uses let's pray holy father we thank you one more time for the reading of your word father we bless you because the entrance of your word giveth light and giveth understanding to them who are simple in their hearts blessed deliverer we thank you because we're the where the carcass is, the eagles will gather. We have gathered not unto any man this day. We have gathered unto you. We've gathered unto your word. Precious Lord, as we go into your word now, we ask that you will speak once and cause us all to hear you twice. Let your word find a place in our hearts, O God. Let your word come forth with simplicity and accuracy. Cause my tongue, O God, to be like the pen of the ready writer. Lord, teach me to speak a word in season to bless some man, to bless some woman, to bless some boy or some girl who may be in this assembly this morning. Do an eternal work in all of our lives and destinies. Above all, find us usable for your glory. We will forever be grateful to you. Thank you for doing this, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. All right, let's be seated in God's wonderful presence, the man God uses. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey up till now. Two days back, we started by looking at uh, the excellent man, and we took our bearing from Daniel in chapter 6 in verse 3, and we began to see what worked for Daniel. Daniel is one of those few individuals in scriptures so that the Bible has no negative thing documented against his name. He was altogether wholesome. He was altogether perfect. He was a man who survived three generations of kings, survived through the times of Nebuchadnezzar, Belteshazzar, and Darius. He was not just a godly man, he was also a, a statesman. He was an intelligent young man, he was a useful man, he was altogether rounded, perfect, and, uh, and, 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 just, and just glorious on the side of God. And the Bible gives us the, the, the insight as to what worked for Daniel. The Bible tells us in Daniel 6.3, it says that, that um, an excellent spirit was in him. 
And then we began to conclude from that teaching that God wants to bring every one of us, not just the men, but also the women, every one of his children, God wants to bring us to the place of excellence where we begin to excel, where we begin to triumph and be first class citizens, uh, first class uh, uh, children of God in the kingdom, where we become unequaled, unparalleled. As we saw the definition of excel two days back, we saw also that it means to, to, to eclipse, it means to out of rank. It means uh, to, to, to overshadow uh